everyone sam here from way too late tv you know it's been a while since my last uh, video and uh things have been going on in my life but um i uh i i've actually worked through the uh depression and everything like that so uh finally i'm back and uh editing videos again i have 368 gigabytes worth of uh video to go through for my uh final fantasy 14 endwalker uh playthrough um i said screw that um i was going to put it out for 32 parts no not anymore uh the reason that people watch the uh endwalker stuff is for streamer slash content creator reactions so what i've done is I've gone through um, a large number of episodes, um, in this case about four or five episodes right now for this one, and um, basically taken um, the first small part, small part is uh, uh, dungeon, uh, uh, just going in headstrong dungeon run, first run, uh, not knowing anything on uh, the first dungeon, the 81 dungeon, uh, figuring it out as I go. Um, uh, highlights from that. And then after that, it's uh, story uh, highlights um, with, you know, funny, snarky comments um, and a little bit, a little bit to a lot of the plot. Um, it's about uh, 25 minutes, 30 minutes ish. Um, it's got some good stuff in it, so um, hopefully this will um, whet your appetite for uh, more, um, and hopefully I can uh, get working on that as soon as possible, uh, pr pretty much as soon as this goes up. So, without any further ado, let's head over to the big board and let's get this video started. For the people of Thavna, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Nod. Tower of Zot, now accessible. Let's do this thing. The word undulating can describe a lot of crap in here. Mindaruva. So this is Mindy. Okay, let's find out what this is all about. Poison on Mindy. Ice Cloud. Donut. X. Oh, geez. What is that? Okay, okay, I, I'm slowly getting this. Odd oh, him. That hurt. She is not dying fast. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. Slowly. Transmute Blizzard. That's the Blizzard. Okay, I got this. Got her. Okay. That was rough. Boss time. Stunderuva. Sandy. Okay. 
He's gonna use one to break, that's you fine. He's using Polymeoes, okay. On everyone. And Suya Berserk. Okay, so those. I'm following. Okay. Those explode into berserks. What was that? Thankred got frozen. Okay. I got frozen. How are we getting frozen? How, how did... The one that wasn't dancing, I guess? Yeah, the one that's not dancing. Okay, I get it now. Eventually, I got it. That was... That was a fight, man. That was a fight. Zot Rotor. Yeah, these are these are all from Final Fantasy VI. Oh, okay. There we go. Boss time. No matter the cost, we must protect the tower. The Mega Sisters. Arbingers elect. All three at once. All three at once. Gentle viewer, I expect to die. Repeatedly. Cinderuba. You persist in your desecration? Okay, here we go. You then face the full wrath of the Mega- Ah, damn it. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, we're going after Mindy now. Get the queen out here. Get the queen out here. Alright. Mindy's down. It's all sandy. Goodbye. That was intense. That was intense. Grah, 
Zaha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. You can have a nap as a treat. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Yeah, you, uh... You pulled off an audible there, didn't you? Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Oh. Oh. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Vitra, you... I know how Vitra feels. Albeit I really do. My there is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor. Tis thee. Don't wear it out. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Iceheart, Monbrita, Papa Limo, Minfilia, Archifont. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou wilt need come the end. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort. To keep thy loved ones safe. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. Well, you did. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out. <laughs> We do have a history of suddenly collapsing. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Cool. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. Ooh. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. Let's do it. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnir from an awful fate. Well, you know, we work out. <laughs> Gotta talk to Nitana. The last thing I remember before being absorbed in the tower was you rushing towards me. I can only imagine the hardships you and yours must have had to overcome to rescue us. No amount of words will suffice to express my gratitude, but I hope the flower's radiant glow says everything I cannot. Yep. So, would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? You know I would. Retire to your chamber, yes. Indeed, and I get some Archon Loaf, which I am not going to eat very happily. Because it's bland! 
Land AF. All right. Put the flower down. Take heart and protect them well. Bertra. Or Midgard Summer. Who knows? No, that was Bertra. Who's at the door? Oh, jeez. Good, you're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Oh, good. Actual tasty food. Tasty food. Ah, uh, Graha got his burger. It's the pickles. Oh, it's it's fallen out. It's fallen out of the Lest bun. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well, but he refused with a rather grim-faced "No, thank you." I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? <laughs> Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. Is that for... is that so? An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest, if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian. Beset on all sides. <laughs> God is really enjoying Speaking that of burger. One's physical condition, Mistress Quile. I hear you recently played literal host to Hydlin herself. Hmm. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. <sighs> anything i should have liked to speak with her longer i've not felt a hint of her presence since she's slipping away heidelin instructed you to carry that flower yes nod it will be your guide test and proof of your conviction and then Something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nadana back in Radzat Han? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed, and in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlophoroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. Hey, Chocolate chip cookie. That's mine. To the swift the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. It was. Oh, it's mm, only barely crispy. 
and even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. You'll get there. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume? Aye, and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. Twas necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... Uh, yes. Well, after a fashion. <laughs> they're tall, you see. <laughs> the shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Mad cause oh. small. Are we pushing on until dawn? Shall we call it a night? Do you know these are my quarters? Shall we call it a night? One last cup of tea then. Dickon said this brew helps relax the mind before bed. And gave us some leaves for free. Okay. What was that? Green. Green, forget the fuck out of here. With a long and storied history, it is without question the world's leading authority in etherology. The arcane, the occult, astromancy, and countless other fields, standing proud as Charlene's foremost educational institute. <laughs> you always did enjoy giving the grand tour to new students. Indeed, I have long such given lost track of how many times he's recited that same foppish speech. Such is his undying love for his old stamping ground. He was in top form back then, youngest to enter the studium, graduated with highest honors in magical arts and etherology. Undisputed champion of the debating chamber. Hold on. You both joined the studium at the same age, yes? And from where I stand, you're equally prodigious scholars. Nice of you to say, but Alphano actually entered half a year before me. Nor did I do well enough to graduate with honors. And I am certainly not the studium's most notorious master debater. Now. What would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories, and any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? When the Warriors of Light were transported and... Bahamut was destroyed. The seventh umbral calamity. Yeah. Ah, I was told to expect you. As you may or may not be aware, the Admiral is at present entertaining the Elder Seed Seer and the Sultana. 
three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. Do you need a moment to prepare, or shall I show you to them? It's gonna be four in a second. But what would you have us to? I assume it's more than handing over the scales and being on our way. We want you and your scales to join the Elsebard contingent. Consider it an official request from both the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance. Do you accept? Perhaps you should be the one to answer that. For honor and glory? The people of Garlemald? Garlemald? For revenge against the Talaferoi. Where's the option, fuck yeah? Alright everyone, I want to thank you all for watching, coming back with me after the uh, little hiatus that I had. Um, this has been a real fun video to make. Um, there's going to be plenty more uh, where this came from with, uh, you know, snarky comments, uh, bits and pieces of the plot, and um, probably a lot of... Uh, just emotional uh, responses uh, coming up. Uh, the game gets really, really just emotional it is is the best word to use for it. And um, I'm, I, I don't just mean the dynamis. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, we will be back next time. Uh, in the meantime, um, you can catch me at uh, Way Too Late TV, uh, Way the Number Too Late TV on Twitter. Uh, way too late TV on uh, YouTube and way too late TV.com for all your way too late TV needs. Um, and uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to uh, get more uh, videos and uh, click the uh, bell icon to get notifications every time a new video comes up. And uh, there will be new videos relatively soon. So thanks for watching. Good night, my night owl. Sleep well. When you get there, way too late.